Hey guys, we're back uh, with this uh, handlebar mustache fella. Uh, we're just about finished up. We're gonna do, uh, I got a thing to do on the face and we're gonna do some buttons and some buttonholes and some stitching and I'm gonna show you how we burn in some of these little dots with my wood burner. But with that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I take a little, this is a, a Rommelson, uh, I, it's really an eye punch, but I use them for buttons. So I'm gonna come in here and press. And there's button number one. Let me punch it a little bit better. And then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go ahead and punch all these where the uh, buttons are supposed to be. here all right now when I get that done I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in here with a little dockyard tool and cut back against these little cuts in here Can you see that, Eric Peyton? Yep. All right. Now this little button here is kind of hard to get to because it's underneath the chin. But I got that. Now we're gonna go ahead and do this button. And you just cut up against that area where the stop cut was. <sighs> then I'm gonna go in and just kind of like make me a little divot. So that little tool, I need to use this one here. It's not as sharp. Nope, that one <laughs> was sharper. Well, that's not working for me, right? So I'm going to cut this out in there. And then take that little divot out. Let's see, I'm going to use this tool. It's sharp. I know it's sharp. The buttons are kind of, you got to kind of watch these buttons. Because they'll chip out on you if you're not careful. Okay. There's my, there's my buttons right there on this guy. Now what I want to do is come over here, right here and here, and put in some buttonholes. All right, come in. Make a cut right there. Right there. You see that, Peyton? Yep. This is just a little stop cut right there. Buttonhole here and one here. Now, on my buttonholes, I like to go in and 
put make a little chip cut on each side. It just make gives it a little just a little wedge effect in there like that. Then I'm gonna come in and do the same right in here. And this is uh, gonna be the last video on this guy. He's pretty much done. I'll have to, I'll go in and kind of clean him up a little bit. But there's there's my buttonholes right there. Now, what I'd like to do is uh, come up here where the hat band is. And, uh, well, first of all, I gotta come in here and put these little folds on the, on the cheek area. So I'm gonna take a little number nine quarter inch gouge. You see that, Peyton? Yep. All right. And go in and make me a little fold right there. Right in there is where I put that fold at. Now I'll turn it right here. Give me a little fold. This just gives it a real, real rough um, effect. You can see that pretty good. Now, what I'd like to do, I'm not going to do all of it, but I want to show you how I put in the little stubble on the uh, little five o'clock shadow. I take a, a number one, uh, a number 11 gouge, and I come in here and I start making little divots like this. How much time we got, Peyton? We were... Got about 10 minutes. Oh, okay. We got... I, I can really show on this. But you go in and you just kind of take some little... You push in and snap out. And this gives us a, a stubble look, a 5 o'clock shadow. And you want to put these things pretty close together. But now I won't do all of it because I'd like I want to show you some more stuff. Uh, the final detail on this guy. I'll just put it right here on the on the basic part of the chin. Now we've got a new camera. This is we got a GoPro now, and we're trying this with the GoPro and, and uh, from our testing it looked pretty good but but there we go you can see that stubble right up in there come and go in on that stubble a little bit right there right there you go but now I'm not going to do it right in here or on this side here because you got the idea of what I'm going to what I'm doing here. Now, what I'd like to do is I I have a little tool that I put the stitching in, and that's a little stitching tool right here. And I'm going to take and you see I put uh, on this guy here I put some stitching right up in here around the hat band. Well, I'm going to do that now. And it, you just you just put it in here like this and ride it around, and it really gives the uh, carving a nice effect when you can add stitching. You can see that, okay, can't you, Peyton? Yep. I don't know if my hand gets in the way. I think sometimes my hand gets in the way. Uh, and I put a stitching down on the lower part. 
and then I put stitching on the upper part of the band. Now, you can paint this guy whatever color you want and come up with your own, but uh, I'll show you the combination that I used to It works for me. Now there's the stitching. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but anyway, it's done with, the, this is a little stitching tool. Uh, now what I'd like to do is, uh, I'm going to uh, go in and burn, I, I wanna show you how to burn in these little dots. Uh, like right here, the, the three dots together. I'm gonna go ahead and, and burn some of those in and just to show you what I use. All right, let's see here. Okay, this is a little burning pen I have, and it's just got a little bitty uh, ballpoint pen thing on it. I'm gonna test it yeah, on the bottom. It's burning good. Uh, but what I do, I go in and I, I put a dot here, one right there, one right there. I kind of keep these dots together or in the same sequence. How much time we got, Peyton? Got about seven minutes. Seven minutes, okay. But... You just kind of stagger these. Different places. Reach up in here and get some of these in that hard to reach area. in here and then we want to turn it I'm going to turn this down a little bit but what I want to do now is go in here on these buttons and put me a little dot right there dot there one there one there one there one there And you just add some little dots in there on that. Uh, but, uh, and you also come back here and do it on the back side of the neckerchief. Okay. I, I do, I want to, one more uh, stitching place I want to show you is around my buttonholes. Let me turn this burner off. Now, uh, I've got some more places I can burn in and everything, but I do want to show you around these little buttonholes here. I just take my stitching tool and kind of st stitch above one and below. Just kind of circle that. I don't know, it just gives it a, a, a nice effect, I think. Uh, all right. Now, how much time we got there, Peyton? We got about three minutes. All right. Right up in here, we got to put some jagged areas. So I like to come in here and Get this, these sleeves roughed in. When we hollowed this out in here that we made, that's why we did that. So, 
so it would look rough. How's that looking, Pate? Good. All right, let me turn it around and do this side here. And uh, if you're following along with me or on this guy, you don't have to make your cuts in the same spot. You just kind of stagger them a little bit. But this gives us gives it a good effect. It kind of it kind of ends that sleeve. Now, right up in here, I want to come in and kind of make me some rough cuts on the bottom of my hat. Some little, little folds. Just like that. That just gives you, gives it a little wrinkled look. And I'll turn it around and do this side here. Yeah, it doesn't need much, just a little bit. It just gives it a wrinkled look. But guys, this is about, this guy's about done. I'll have to put in this, the stubble here. I'll burn in a few more places here. Uh, I would like to make me some little wrinkles in the top of the sleeve. I go in and just kind of roll your blade. Gives it a wrinkled look. But, uh, how much time we got, Peyton? Mm -hmm, about a minute. All right. We get a shot on this guy here, Peyton. This is the guy. He's finished. You can see the color. That's a, like a burnt umber brown for the hat and the vest. A re uh, bright red on the uh, shirt. Uh, burnt sienna for the mustache uh, and uh, uh, and the and the hair uh, bright red for the hat band but anyway uh, this guy he's uh, he's about done so uh, with that uh, uh, we're going to uh, after this uh, we're going to go on a little short vacation and then we'll be back and I'm going to do a uh, a project that's not quite as involved as this. So uh, until next time, uh, happy carving to everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye.